Hey, Wellspring family, a big hello from me and my family to yours. I hope you've been having a great summer. Lynn and I really miss seeing you and, and connecting with everybody, and I'm sure you feel the same. You know, the book of Hebrews says, spur one another on toward love and good deeds and don't give up meeting together. Well, that hasn't been very easy this, these last number of months, but with September just around the corner and COVID-19 restrictions slowly beginning to lift, we want to come together as a church this fall to strengthen our connection with one another and to spur one another on toward the love of Christ and doing great things in his name from our kids to our youth to our adults to our seniors. You know, our vision here at Wellspring is to help people pursue a deep life in Christ that leads them to making a wide impact in the world. And I want to just highlight for you just some of the ways we want to come together as a church this fall to do just that, to spur one another on. First, starting Sunday, September 13, we're beginning a new fall message series on the book of Revelation called Hope Unveiled. You know, for many, I know the book of Revelation comes across a little scary, a little bit hard to understand, but in reality, it's a book about hope and God's victory for your life. There's more details to come, including some great resources that you can read up on. But you know, at a time when people are asking questions about all that they're seeing in the news and just where it's all leading to, we want to be informed by what God says things are leading to, what God says is the end of the story. And it's a message of hope. Second, this fall we're going to be championing a campaign called Make Every Conversation Count. It's simple, really. We want to encourage everyone to begin looking for daily opportunities to point people to Jesus by trying to make every conversation count. And so in a few weeks, we're going to give you some conversation starters to help bring Jesus into the conversation. And to follow up, we're going to be looking at launching an alpha group mid-fall to help people take that next step of learning about Jesus, the good news of the gospel, and what it means to be a Christian. You know, more than ever, we need to become a church here at Wellspring of outreach and sharing the gospel. And third, I want you to know that we still have a children's ministry here at Wellspring. In fact, Brianna Vanstone, our interim children's ministry coordinator, is going to be delivering this really fun children's church uh, in a box to each of our families with kids from preschool to grade five. It's filled with some awesome curriculum, uh, some really fun uh, treats and stuff. It's just going to be a lot of fun, but also it includes some really great intentional teaching about Jesus Christ and about what he wants for our lives. And so be on the lookout for that. Fourth, we're so excited to announce that both our junior high and senior high ministries will be kicking off in-person gatherings again. We are still taking things slow and we're being careful to maintain social distancing and keeping things safe, but our youth need connection, fun, encouragement, and teaching where Jesus is being lifted up. So parents, you'll be getting more details on all of that shortly. And finally, our adults, we are looking forward to relaunching our encounter groups this fall, the place we want people to find community, connection, and a place to grow spiritually and be mentored in the Christian life. You know, church, these are just some of the things we're looking forward to this fall as we come together and make an effort to reconnect for the sake of spurring one another on in Christ. Next week, we're going to be launching a new website with a fresh look to help you get connected, to help you get equipped, because it's going to have some great video resources in it, and to help you reach your friends for Christ, because we trust it'll be a helpful resource to say, hey, check out Wellspring online. You know, as, as, as much as this is a strange season that we find ourselves in that's been hard and difficult, it's also a time where we are rediscovering as believers the importance of relationships, the importance of our need for God, and what it means to be the church for the sake of the world, and more importantly, for the sake of the name of Jesus. And so we are really excited about what God has in store for us. I want to invite you to get connected and step into what God has for you and to retake 2020 and maybe some of the things that we feel like we've been missing out on these last number of months. I'm just really excited what God can do through just a little bit of commitment and obedience on our part for the sake of his name.